the pre-match focus on Lionel Messi. Well, he's the most creative player on the field. He can run with the ball, he can get himself out of tight situations, he can see a pass, he's very creative with his play. I think he's going to be the outstanding player today. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live from the Bernabeu here on EA TV. It's very much a temple of football, the Santiago Bernabeu right here on the Spanish capital, Madrid. I'm Derek Ray and keeping me company here on the commentary gantry is Stuart Robson. And the general feeling is we should be in for a spellbinding occasion. It's Real Madrid up against Inter Miami. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Kroos. Now with Vinicius Junior. It's an accurate pass from Kroos. What a save! And let's dissect the Real Madrid side. Kepa is the goalkeeper. Carvajal starts with Ferlon Mendy in the fullback positions. Toni Kroos starts alongside Federico Valverde in central midfield. And it's two strikers up front who will look to provide the goal scoring threat. Oh, so near, but just unable to keep the shot down. Making sure nothing came of it. But I'll tell you what, I really admire the fact that Jude Bellingham can do just about everything. He can score, he can set up chances, he can defend. What do you expect to see from him in this game? Yeah, he's the club's leading scorer and he's so difficult to negate. But I'm sure these defenders will have a game plan for him. Whether it works or not, we'll have to wait and see. Corner given to Real Madrid. And fired over by Kroos. Appeared to be in two minds. Just couldn't get it through. Oh, couldn't quite find his teammate. Jude Bellingham. Theme emerging of wasted possession. Rodrigo, Vinicius Jr. Oh, in with a chance! Decent enough idea, shame about the execution. Well, I don't think that was good enough, and I also think it was the wrong option. Well, Ancelotti's disappointed, but they are in the ascendancy here. Can they now go and take the lead? Facundo Farias. Can they trouble the opposition this time? Well, an attempt to forget all about, unfortunately. Yeah, got it all wrong, trying to pass it into the corner, opened up his body, but didn't make the right sort of contact. Lovely ball over the top. Martinez uh, plays with a positional sense that is second to none. That's very effective. Good high pressing. Rodrigo, he's in behind. Pressure applied. Can they make something of it? Vinicius Jr. And just narrowly wide in the end. Well, he's frustrated, of course, but he knows they're now making chances.
the referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order Martinez and that is that half time here on the Spanish capital for whatever reason it hasn't happened for Tony Kroos in this match I wonder if that's how you see it Stuart yeah, he's looked off the pace today. He just hasn't been himself, has he? And as a result, the team have looked short on creativity. It's been a disappointing performance. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Really inventive stuff from Real here. And in with a real chance. And still danger here. Well, it could have been, but for the offside flag. Jordi Alba and return to Messi not as touch let him down and it'll be a goal kick David Alaba Rodrigo Nicely timed tackle. Plenty of support here. Must take the lead here. And they have. You've got to say, it has been coming. Well, as the replay shows us, Vinicius Junior's pass is inch perfect. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. Well, he can't control his delight, can he? It's a wonderful moment for his team. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Andre Yedlin what to like about that pass just the clearance that was called for clear foul but a Real Madrid advantage just the challenge that was required Rodrigo Tenacious tackling, excellent defending there. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. Chouameni. Valverde. Here's Vinicius Jr. Brilliantly blocked. Textbook closing down, and now they're on the attack. There might very well be late excitement. Five minutes left, and the margin just one. Well, the timing was perfect. Ball one. This could square the game, and it has such late excitement. And no wonder they're jumping for joy as we speak. Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect. And then it's a wonderful strike from Messi. He hits it with such power, such pace and great accuracy. What a goal that is. So back underway, one goal apiece here. 
So two minutes to be added on at the end. And the referee blows the whistle. Still all square at the end of 90 minutes. And so the penalty shootout about to commence. And as a player, and off the post, but in it went. His turn to try to convert from the spot. And there it is, perfectly executed. And the penalty converted here. Can he remain calm? And the keeper makes the all-important save. What a big moment. Goalkeeper beaten from the spot. And he steps up to take the shot. And he scores. He's gambled on direction and won. He had to score and he does. Mental preparation is such a big part of this. And confidently converted. So much on the line with regard to this penalty. And it's gone in. Composure is so important under these trying circumstances. So lethal in front of goal. And he finds the net. He could hardly miss. Can he get the better of the keeper? Job done from the spot. That wasn't easy to do. Superb execution. And just like that, he's come up with the save. Well, it comes down to this. In, and they win. A mountain of pressure on him, but he withstands the test, and they've gone and won it. Well, cool, composed, and really good technique. A match-winning penalty, and probably deserved over the course of the game.